السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته الحمد لله رب العالمين والصلاة والسلام على سيدنا ونبينا محمد وعلى آله وصحبه جمعين وبعد My dear respected brothers, sisters and friends Welcome to another episode of the weekly Juma Reminder Today's topic is very important It's about al-istighfar it's about October. It's about repentance. It's about repenting back to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala mentions in the Quran, بَعْدَ قُولْ عَوْضَ بِاللَّهِ سَمِّ الْعَلِيمِ مِنَ الشَّيْطَانِ الرَّجِيمِ قُلْ يَا عِبَادِيَ الَّذِينَ أَسْرَفُوا عَلَىٰ أَنفُسِهِمْ لَا تَقْنَتُوا مِنْ رَحْمَةِ اللَّهِ إِنَّ اللَّهِ يَغْفِرُ الظُّنُوبَ جَمِيعًا إِنَّهُ وَالْغَفُورُ الرَّحِيمِ Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala mentions Say, O my servants who have transgressed against themselves by sinning, do not despair of the mercy of Allah. Indeed, Allah forgives all sins. Indeed, it is He who is the forgiving, the merciful. Of course, every human is prone to make mistakes and to commit sins due to various reasons. Some of us are conscious of what goes into our mouth so we will abstain from haram foods but how many of us are conscious of what comes out of our mouth how many of us are conscious of when we are backbiting slandering swearing how many of us are conscious of what goes through our eyes and what goes through into our ears so my dear respected brothers and sisters, of course it's almost impossible to be sinless, but we can still be the best of the sinners. How can we be the best of the sinners? Let me explain. The Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam has said, كُلُّ بَنِي آدَمَ خَطَّاءٌ وَخَيْرُ الْخَطَّائِينَ التَّوَّابُونَ this is the hadith of Anas radiyallahu anhu. He says that the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said, Every son of Adam is a sinner. Kullu bani Adam khattaun. So from this part of the hadith we learn that nobody is exempted. Nobody is excluded. Even the prophets are included in this. The companions of the prophets they are included in this. Me and you, we are included in this as well. The Prophet said, Kullu bani Adam He said, Every child of Adam والسلام, is a sinner. But the next part is the important part. How can we be the best of sinners? He says, the best sinners are those who repent back to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And whilst we know that the prophets never engaged and never committed major sins, there were some minor slip-ups from their side, but they never committed major sins. In fact, they never committed minor sins as well. There were minor slip-ups. So, for example, we learn from the story of Adam alayhi salatu wasalam. And in terms of existence, he was the closest to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala because he was the first human created from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And he was living in a place where no sins can be committed. He was living in Jannah. And even on his side, there was a minor slip up. He ate from a tree. But what did he do after this minor slip up? He repented back to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. He said, رَبَّنَا ظُلَمْنَا أَنفُسَنَا وَإِن لَمْ تَغْفِرْ لَنَا وَتَرْحَمْنَا لَنَكُونَنَّ مِنَ الْخَاسِرِينَ We have the dua of Prophet Yunus alayhi salatu wa salam. He said, لَا إِلَهَا إِلَّا أَنْتَ سُبْحَانَكَ إِنِّي كُنْتُ مِنَ الظَّالِمِينَ We have the dua of Nuh alayhi salatu wa salam. What did he say? He said, رَبِّ اغْفِرْ لِي وَلِوَالِدَيَّ وَلِمَنْ دَخَلَ بَيْتِيَ مُؤْمِنًا وَلِلْمُؤْمِنِينَ وَالْمُؤْمِنَاتِ 
We have the dua of Ibrahim alayhi salatu was salam. What did he say? He said, Rabbi ja'alni muqeem as-salah wa min dhurriyati rabbana wa taqabbal dua. Rabbana khfirli wa li walidayya wa lil mu'minina yawma yaqum al He said, my Rabb, forgive me. Forgive my parents. Forgive the believers. Unlike this, we find many other du'as of repentance that were made by other prophets as well. We know that the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa said that I repent to Allah more than 100 times in a day. And let me mention this again, that we agree and we acknowledge that the prophets never committed major sins, yet they also repented back to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. They engaged in dua. They engaged in istighfar. They engaged in repenting back to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So my question would be, how much dua, how much repentance are we doing? How many times do we say, astaghfirullah, astaghfirullah, astaghfirullah? And I'll briefly mention the difference between al-istighfar and at-tawbah. And I will finish on this note. Al-Istighfar is a short dhikr. For example, when you complete your salah, you say Astaghfirullah three times. So you can say Astaghfirullah, or you can even pray Astaghfirullah al-Azim, Alladhi la ilaha illa huwa al-hayyu al-qayyuma wa atubu ilayh. So this is like a dhikr. A tawbah is salah. So you will pray, for example, a minimum of two rak'ah. And then you will make dua to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And for example, if you committed a major sin, you will pray your salah, then you will raise your hands and you will cry before Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And you will promise you will promise Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala that you will give up that sin and you will show sadness and remorse and regret for committing that sin. And then, like I've mentioned, you will make a promise to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to give up that sin and never to return back to that sin. And if you have wronged somebody, you will go to that person, that individual, and you will also seek forgiveness from them as well. So I've briefly mentioned the difference between al istighfar and At-Tawbah. I pray to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala that he grants us, he grants us istiqama and the ability to make sincere al istighfar and At-Tawbah. Aqulu qawli hadha wa astaghfirullah li wa lakum وللسالم سمينا فاستغفروا إنه هو الغفور الرحيم فجزاكم الله خير والسلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته